My name is Lisa Avebury, and I am the person behind Sacred Introvert. <laughs> I never really understood what it meant to be an introvert. I always thought, like many people, it meant that you were shy. I'm not a shy person. I found myself actually explaining to people what it really meant to be an introvert and found myself mm -hmm. a little bit of an introvert activist and that's where this all started to come from. People need to become a little bit more activated in letting people know what it really means to be an introvert. In becoming an activist, you're already kind of stepping out of your comfort level a little bit, but you're becoming an activist for something that you really believe in. My personal favorite introvert is George Harrison. A lot of people think of him as like, he was the spiritual beetle. He went out in the world and, he, and still respected himself as an introvert, but managed to create so much and change the world with his spiritual uh, evolution. A lot of uh, famous introverts people have heard of, like people like Rosa Parks and Johnny Depp, Steve Martin, Charles Darwin, Audrey Hepburn, Albert Einstein. One of my favorite is Freddie Mercury. You can actually get out there and you can do your thing. Um, and then you can respect and honor yourself as an introvert. Sacred means um, highly valued, respected, honored, um, like a diamond. You know, it's, it's something that's special, that's a jewel. And that's what I really want an introvert to embrace. The tour kind of came up because I've always loved to travel and travel has been like such an important part of my evolution as a person. And I think there's something to be said about being somewhere and and being nothing but who you are. Tours are either, you know, people that want to sit on a bus and be shuttled from place to place, just go home and say they've been there, or it's like a half backpacker tour where everybody's a big group and you're a big gang and you're socializing together and there was nothing like sort of in between that. I also love to go on retreats. They're a little bit more introspective. You, you have time to like just sort of be with yourself. I started to really think about the idea of creating a retreat tour, gathering a group of like-minded individuals. It's going to create something for all of us. It's going to change people. The idea of sharing something that has changed me and impacted my own life so much is exciting and encouraging and so that's what I hope to bring to people in the Sacred Introvert Retreat Tour. Sacred Introvert is a work in progress. I've taught workshops before, I've offered workshops for people. I am now in the process of creating a workshop to feed the introvert soul. And also, it's creating a community-based blog. And that blog will be written by anybody pretty much that wants to write something. If they, if they want to have a place to express a specific point of view about being an introvert, being an intro introvert in the world. Um, I want us to have a place that we can write about this and comment on this and be positive and encouraging to each other. In, in essence, creating community. Um, finally understanding what it meant to be an introvert made me more proud of who I actually really was. Empowered me in such a way that um, it made me want to empower others. I'm very passionate about that. So.